Hello everyone, welcome to Infigyan. In this very exciting video of exponential equations, today we are going to solve 2 power minus x equal to plus minus 2. So let me split this equation in two segments so that we can talk 2 raised to the power minus x is equal to plus 2 and 2 raised to the power minus x is equal to minus 2. Now if you will observe the first one, then left hand side is 2 raised to the power minus x. 2 raised to the power minus x means function is decreasing but positive. Function is decreasing throughout but it is positive always above the x axis. So left hand side is positive. Right hand side is plus 2 so positive. So we will get some real solution. we can conclude some real solution. Now come to the second one, this equation. Left hand side is positive, right hand side is negative. It cannot possible in real mathematics. So here we will be expecting, we will be getting complex solution confirmed. So I am going to find out one real and infinite complex solution today in this video. So let's get started. I will consider first real case. So I will write 2 raised to the power x. Rather is to write 2 raised to the power minus x equal to 2. So we can solve this using three ways. See, real solution it will give us how by exponent first 2 raised to the power minus x is equal to 2. Base is same. So exponent must be same. 2 means 2 power 1. So we will write minus x is equal to 1. This must be equal to 1. So x, let me write minus x equal to 1, which in concludes x equal to negative 1. Now second, uh, second way basically. So I will take logarithmic minus x ln 2 equal to ln 2 ln2 will get over, right hand side is 1, so x will come out negative 1. Minus x is equal to 1, x equal to negative 1. Third case is, if I will take 2 to the left, means, let me use, okay, 2 raised to the power minus x over 2 equal to 1, then I will write 2 raised to the power minus x plus 1, equal to 1. Now if you remember a power b equal to 1 form. From there base equal to 1 and base equal to minus 1 we will reject as we can say it is 2 already. So we will reject that case. What is accepted where exponent is 0. So I will write minus x plus 1 would be equal to 0. So x is equal to negative 1 from a equal to b form. This is real part done. Real solution we have calculated x equal to negative 1. Okay, now come to the complex part. Let's see the graph here. See complex we, are, we will see. See this is happening like this is 2 raised to the power minus x. This is straight line. Constant function is y equal to 2 or 2. Now this is our solution, x equal to negative 1, okay. And if you will plot minus 2 also, this line below x axis will have minus 2. So there won't be any intersection between 2 raised to the power minus x and minus 2. So no re real solution is possible. Let's consider complex solution from the equation 2 raised to the power minus x equal to minus 2. So I will divide both sides by 2. Let me write 2 raised to the power minus x over 2 equal to minus 2 over 2. So equation will convert into 2 raised to the power minus x minus 1 equal to negative 1. Or I can write 2 raised to the power negative x plus 1 equal to minus 1. 
or I will take the reciprocal of that because property of exponent that is a raised to the power minus m can be written as a raised to the power plus m. So I can write 1 over 2 raised to the power x plus 1 over 1 over minus 1. So this is how, can, how we can convert into our standard form. Now equation is converted into in this segment. Now I will use Euler's identity. e raised to the power i theta is cos theta plus i sin theta. Now what I am trying to find out negative 1. So let me put theta equal to pi by 2. So e raised to the power i pi by 2 equal to it won't come. See so cos pi by 2 it will give us i only but we are targeting minus 1. So this will be i. So what I should put theta equal to pi. Value will be e raised to the power i pi. That value will be cos pi plus i sin pi. So cos pi is negative, y, negative 1 and sin pi is 0. So this would be minus 1. So let me write in place of minus 1 I will write e raised to the power i pi. This is for particular solution only. Now I want to generalize it. So I will replace pi by pi plus 2 n pi where n belongs to integer. Okay. Now see left hand side is 2 raised to the power x plus 1. Right hand side is e raised to the power i pi plus 2 n pi. I can take pi common out and change of base I am going to apply towards left side. So 2 can be written as e raised to the power ln 2 and whole power is x plus 1 and right hand side we have got e raised to the power. Let me take pi common. So it will become 1 plus 2n. Okay, now using exponent property, I can write here a raised to the power b whole power c can be written as a power bc. So I will multiply both the powers ln2 times x plus 1. Okay, is equal to e raised to the power i pi 1 plus 2n. Now you can easily see if both sides we are having same base e. So what we will do? Our exponent must be same. We will equate both the powers. So once I will equate then it will become x plus 1 ln 2 equal to i pi 2n plus 1. So x plus 1 would be equal to i pi 2n plus 1 over ln 2. So last step would be I will write i x equal to negative 1 this plus 1 will go to the right plus i pi 2n plus 1 divided by ln 2. Okay. So this is how we can write some other forms also we can use for the result. This is one complex solution and you have seen one real solution which is x equal to negative 1. So overall for this equation 2 power x 2 power negative x equal to plus minus 2 we will get x equal to minus 1 as a real solution and x equal to minus 1 plus i pi 2 n plus 1 over ln 2 as complex solution where n belongs to integer. When I will put integer values then I will get infinite solutions, infinite complex solutions. See the real graph. Solution for real solution means real value 2 power minus x equal to plus 2. This is how we can find out our real solution. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you like this video. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe. Bye-bye till next video.